Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. In today's episode we've got the return of the Champions League. We did extremely well in the past two seasons in the Champions League but you know this season everything's a little bit different so it's going to be tough. We've got a decent group with Atletico Madrid, Ajax and Anderlecht. We're looking to go through. I'm not too sure what to expect from these teams. Um, but we'll do our best anyways and try and progress to the next round and Sturridge already scored five goals which is um, brilliant for him I guess. Milan Liverpool in the final I wouldn't mind that at all but it's time to play Ajax first at the San Siro looking to pick up the three points of course. Alright guys this is the team I'm going with I've had to make some few tough decisions because some players are doing well some players are not doing as well and one of those players is Andre Ayew he just I just can't drop Pog by the way he's been playing, the goal that Tielemann scored against Juve and the two goals that Kittel scored as well. Andre Ayew is going to be benched for the first time in a very long time. Rafael Varane is also on the bench just because Nkulu is the captain, I'm not going to switch him out. And Laporte is in better form, that's why I'm going with him. Hatabur is also not doing well at the moment, Lacazette is playing right wing, a very strong team to take on Ajax. Let's go. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. Today it's AC Milan against Ajax. Well played by Decilio <clears throat> into Lacazette. Excuse my throat, but Lacazette doesn't care and he's going to go all the way if he can get past Bazor. Still going. Lacazette pull it back. There it is. And by Niang. How have you missed? Pogba into Niang. Niang into Yuri Tielemans looking for the 1 2, but Tielemans is going to try and take them on himself. He's going to get it back. Lacazette, nope, doesn't get there, but it's a penalty, I'll take it, although I am very confused right now. Let's take another look at that, Tielemans got dispossessed two seconds after the ball was gone, he falls over him, and we get the penalty, fuck it, I'll take it. Well, statistically speaking, Yuri Tielemans is my best penalty taker, and he won the pen, so he's going to take it. It's a harsh way to go 1-0 down for Ajax in the first opening game of the Champions League season. But, you know, if you get handed a gift, just accept it and smile. Because we've now taken the lead, and it's 1-0 thanks to Yuri Tielemans. And that's the end of the first half. Not the best of halves, but we've taken the lead. We've dominated the game as well. They haven't had many chances, I think. Um, yeah, we had one more shot on target, a little bit more possession, so I'm fairly happy with how this is going. I'm not going to make any changes. Let's go straight into the second half. It's not a foul. Shit, he's, that's a red. He's off. The Cilio's off. He's lost, man. There we go. Red card. Stupid challenge, but I... It kept bouncing back to them. You're going to see uh, I'm putting in challenge after challenge that are still holding on to the ball somehow. And to be fair to the Silio, he got the ball, but it was reckless, and now we're a man down. I have to make the change. El Sharawi is coming off. DeAndre Yedlin coming on for him, putting him in right back. Also, Nkulu is on the yellow card. We need to fight for this 1 0 lead, so I'm going to bring on Varane. I can't hold back with my challenges now, so bringing him off is probably the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Captain, but this is for the team. It's a good ball in. Zivkovic. Does not win the header, Pogba gets rid of it. 2v1 situation, here we go, Niang and Lacazette. 2v2 rather. Can he play him through? Yes he can. Has to be a goal, we have to kill the game off. Inside, to Niang, Niang, no, to Pogba! Oh, how did I fuck that up? No, no, Yedlin, how have you been outpaced? Sirigu, what a save to keep us at 1-0. That was stunning, but DeAndre Yedlin, step up your game, son. Well done by Niang. Pogba chest it down, well done. Pogba just hold on to it a little bit. We need some breathing room here with Niang. What can he do? He's running at them. He's trying. Niang, Niang, ref. What? No, yeah, that's that's game over. Van Rijn against Sirigu. Oh, Sirigu, you're a god. How the fuck have they not scored here? We're still 1-0 up. I can't believe it. Salvatore Sirigu is single-handedly giving us the three points here. Well played, Sonny Kittel to Pogba, Pogba into Ricardo Rodriguez, why is my passing so bad, but Ricardo Rodriguez has won it back, Ricardo Rodriguez cuts inside, oh good defending, just blow your whistle ref, we've had enough, final chance, Kishna, Ricardo Kishna, Sirigu again, Sirigu, Sirigu, yes my son, well played, now pass it off, game over, Niang, kick it out, and that should be the end of it. And there we go, that's the final whistle. AC Milan have fought their way to a 1-0 victory. Very scrappy, 
Ajax probably deserved the win based on that second half because I haven't had a shot in that second half. Because we went down to 10 men, I had to defend for my life. And, well, we did fairly well, in my opinion. We hold on to that 1-0 win. And it's all thanks to Salvatore Sirigu, who pulled off about 8 saves. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's what I want from him. He's 93 rated, and that's what you can get from him. In the other game in our group, Anderlecht lost 2-1 to Atletico Madrid, Manchester United and City won. Some interesting results right there, but it looks to be a battle between ourselves and Atletico Madrid for the first spot in the group. Back to the Serie A league action where we're currently on three points out of two games, so not the best. So we're looking to pick up three points away from home at the Stadio Olimpico. This is a team I'm going with. Niang and Kitzel are a little bit tired. That's why I'm going with Lacazette up front. Griezmann back into the side. Are you back into the side as well? But other than that, it's a pretty box standard AC Milan squad. Very strong and we have to get the job done. Lacazette against Antic. It's going to take him on. It's a bit of a one-on-one -on -one situation for Lacazette. He's done well. Good challenge. Oh, that's well played. And Kula, what are you doing? What? I did not ask him to slide. I wasn't even controlling him. Why did he do that? Look at this. He passes it inside. And Kula just does a slide tackle all by himself. And the man is wide open and scores. Mehdi Abid. Oh, I hate that. Alexander Lacazette, look at that. Well played. Lacazette back into RU. Bang! 1-1. One, one. Back into the game. Just like that. Well done, are you? Back into the team. He proves to me why he should always stay in the team. I mean, he's brilliant, to be fair to him. And he's proven that right now with the equaliser. El Shirawi looking for Lacazette. Good pass. Lacazette turns back into Pogba. They're... I'm not, I'm not going to say they're parking the bus because they've got two strikers up front. But it's pretty close to that. Uh, whilst Lacazette goes through and... <laughs> blasts one into the top corner to make it 2-1 to AC Milan. What a goal by Lacazette. Just takes it round the defender, smashes that top corner. The goalkeeper doesn't move. He just doesn't even bother to move. It's that good of a finish by Alexander Lacazette. Oh, Griezmann, good tackle. Lacazette picks it up. Looking for Griezmann. Oh, he's going to take a long shot instead. Ooh, not too bad. Tielemans into Lacazette. Good pass. Lacazette cuts back into El Sharawi. First time shot. Great save. We went 1-0 down to probably their only chance of the game, but then we recovered fairly well and took our chances. Not many chances in this game, but they've all been taken pretty much. Yuri Tielemans looks a bit tired, so I'm going to bring him off for Sonny Kittel in central midfield. At some point in the game, I want to bring on uh, Hatabora Niang as well, but for now, only Kittel will come on and uh, hopefully we can secure the win. Oh, Lacazette, great first touch to get past Antic and the pace as well to get away from everyone. Lacazette inside, has to be a goal. Lacazette, oh what a save, I, there was no need for that ball roll but still would have been a great goal if it, if it actually paid off. 30 yards out, you know who I'm going to put on this. Actually, saying that, Kittel has about the same free kick stats as Ricardo Rodriguez. Should we give him a chance to bag a free kick? Why not? Sonny Kittel from 30 yards out, it's not bad, it's a good save. Oh, well done by Kittel. Slip through Lacazette. Well played. Lacazette has to turn inside. He has done. Alexandre Lacazette kills the game off. He makes it 3-1. I'm loving the way this team is playing, guys. I honestly do. Like, the players we brought in, I'm talking about the likes of Kittel. I'm talking about maybe Varane, although he's not playing. I mean, it just works. It absolutely works for me. Every single position has a player in it that I enjoy using. We nearly had the perfect team last year, but the only player letting us down a little bit was, in my opinion, Felipe Coutinho, and Kittel is doing great. So, in my eyes, I have found the perfect team on career mode now. And watch Lacazette demonstrate what perfect means. Watch him demonstrate what perfect means. Oh, it would have been a great goal. Sonny Kittel blocked. Lacazette, oh, he, he missed. And that's it. That's the end of the game. AC Milan have dominated Lazio at the Stadio Olimpico. A great result. A great game in general, some, some good goals as well. I mean, I'm very happy with the overall performance, especially the second half. We absolutely smashed them. You know, they took the lead. We didn't look back, we just kept going. We scored goal after goal. Lacazette probably played Niang out of the first team now. That win puts us in sixth in the league. We're climbing the table, we're doing well, you know. We struggled against Juve and we lost to them, but I really think we can go on a bit of a run here, uh, a good run. And hopefully that'll pay off in the league. I want to get into the top three by the end of next episode. 
and Genoa and Sassuolo really, really shouldn't be a problem. I, I think I'm actually going to sim Genoa, play Sassuolo and Anderlecht in the Champions League to make it a little bit more interesting. That's what I'm going to do, I think. If you enjoyed, then please leave a like. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.